In this video, we'll look at how you can create a huge sounding 808 bass line. Five simple steps using Ableton's operator instrument. Hi, my name is Craig Lowe. Welcome to Push Patterns. As many of you aware, one of the key ingredients of trap music is that huge 808 bass line sound. And believe it or not, it's actually super simple to make using Ableton's operator synth. So let's jump in and look at how we do this. So load operator, you do this by going to browser, instruments, drag onto an empty MIDI channel. Then step one, we need to go down to our oscillator section. We need to choose the sound source, the oscillator. So what's really handy with Ableton's operator is it's already chosen the sine wave, which is the oscillator or the sound source we need for this um, baseline sound. So let's hear what it sounds like already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arm the track, make sure the QWERTY keyboard is playing the keyboard notes. Should sound like that. Nothing like a kick drum. Don't worry, stick around, it will get better. Step two, which is the envelope. This is how we shape the percussiveness of the sound. So all we're gonna do is go to this main section here, click on this little square and drag it right down. Make sure the decay's around about one second long. Then we're also gonna set the envelope to trigger. Okay, now for step three, which is the pitch envelope. So let's go to this section here and click here. The pitch envelope actually mimics the, the acoustic hit of a drum. So you get a high pitch and it drops down really quickly, which gives us that attack. So let's engage it. So we do that by turning it on. Keep it 100% for now. We're gonna go and put the peak to 44. So we just click and press 44. 4. Keep the release the same. Decay, I'm gonna put down to around 58 milliseconds. Let's hear that. Still sound nothing like a kick drum. So on our QWERTY keyboard, we can go and select through the octaves by pressing Z. So I'm gonna press Z down twice. Now with this pitch envelope, you can dial it into taste. So the more, the more of attack you're gonna hear on the note. Okay, step four, let's sort out the tone of the kick drum. We're gonna play around with some of the harmonics. This is gonna make it pop through on smaller speakers, also give it a slight distorted sound, which is usually something we hear within this genre of music. So we do this by going back to the oscillator section, click the oscillator menu, and these are the harmonics we can add in. Usually sounds nice if we use the first four, and we do like a cascading or declining sort of thing here. You can play around with it. Something like that, see that. Okay, cool. So now, fifth and final step is sorting out mono and glide. Okay, so what's happening now in Operator is it's a polyphonic synth, so I can play like eight to eight chords. So if I hold down three notes, we don't want that. We want the notes to like not ring into each other, basically. So we're gonna make it mono. So we do this by going to the global settings here, clicking voices, pressing one. And we can turn on the glide by going back to the pitch envelope, turning the glide on, dialing in the glide amount to taste. Okay, so that's that's the settings. Now, I've just given you some, you know, general settings. You can go in and tweak them all. I'm just gonna show you a couple of settings that really work to tweak, especially for the bass line. It's that initial envelope decay that we talked about. So we're gonna adjust it and hear how it changes the sound, okay? So we go back to the envelope by clicking on the oscillator section here. Click envelope. Now this dial here does the case. So if you hear the note, it's quite short, it's quite percussive, which is great for a kick sound. But if we want that note to ring out a little bit longer, and do as we can just. We get more of that and get more of that um, note ringing out so we can hear some more of the harmony. Okay, great, so let's hear this sound in the context of a beat. So I'm just extending the, the um, envelope here just to get a bit more of that note.
Cool. Then one more extra spicy trick up my sleeve, which is Ableton's Drum Bus, which is a fantastic plugin for not only using on all the drums, but just on the kick. It can saturate it, compress it. Let's have a look at what that does to the sound. So we're going to go into Audio Effects, grab uh, Drive and Color is the folder it's in, and then grab Drum Bus and just drag it next to it. Again, these are just some suggested settings. They're quite gnarly settings. So we'll, we'll have a look. So first thing I do is I'm going to turn it down, click here, and press minus six, just because it's going to jump up in volume. Turn the compression on. We're going to turn crunch all the way up, turn boom up a little bit, and then turn the transients up a little bit. Let's hear that in the context of a beat. Now, and I'm going to put it on hard. Yeah, let's go in hard. Go back to that um, envelope now. Also, another really cool thing you can do with this 808 baseline sound you've got with the drum rack is save it all as a preset so you can use it on future projects and you don't have to dial this sound in each time. So let, let me show you how you do that. So what you want to do is you want to go and click on operator, hold shift, click drum bus and press command G. That will group it into something called an instrument rack. We click this little dial here, you can see it goes away. Click this here, we can see the instrument rack. Click up here, press command R, we're going to call this like big 808. Nice. And then we can click return. That saves the sound. Okay. So then what we want to do is click this save button here. All that's going to do is going to save it in our user library in instrument rack. And then you can go in and drag that out at any point. So for example, if I scroll over here in this project to where it says drop files or devices here, I can click and I can drag that. Boom. And it's got everything, all the settings saved. So you, you have that sound ready to rock and roll straight away now if you stay tuned in this channel we're gonna have videos when we use this again so yeah do that okay great that's it that's your your that's your beat there okay so if you would like to know a bit more about how i created that drum pattern also how i created the chords i've put up in the cards up here a link to a previous tutorial video i've done on youtube about how to make a drum beat in the star trap music how to use Ableton's scale feature to magically make any chords without any music theory knowledge at all and no MIDI pack required. So if you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. All, all that stuff really helps and gets us making more videos, which is great. Um, any questions on what we covered today, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thanks for sticking around. I'm sure I'll see you on the channel soon.